I hate this GPU. All right, back at it again. This is my Gigabyte RTX 3080. You probably saw it in my previous video where I added thermal pads between the back of the PCB and the back plate of the GPU. And it definitely helped, but it certainly was not enough. So this is part two to that video where I'll be replacing the stock thermal pads on the inside. Before we get into that, let me show you exactly what's happening so we have a good benchmark of the before and after. So I'm mining Ethereum over here in T-Rex Miner. You can see that wattage is stuck around 201, and then it's only getting about 83 mega hash. And you can see over here again in Hardware Info 64, that memory junction temperature is 110 degrees Celsius, which means that GPU is thermal throttling. You can see the answer is yes there. So. Memory is just getting way too hot in that GPU still, even though I've added some thermal pads. The one thing I haven't done yet, just because I really wanted to avoid doing it, is replacing the stock thermal pads inside. That's what we're going to do in this video. I have these. They've been sitting around for forever. And I'm finally going to get to this, and then we'll test after and see what kind of performance we get. See if that's still thermal throttling. God, I hope not, or else I don't know what I'm going to do. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, here we are. I'm gonna dive into this GPU again. I'm gonna fast forward through all this. You can check out my previous video on the complete take apart, and then I'll slow down once I get to the thermal pads. So you can skip ahead if you need to. There'll be chapters down below, but I'm gonna dive into this GPU right now. All right, got it open. You can see the thermal pads in question. These, these ones right here that I want to replace. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that I want to replace. And actually my thermal paste is pretty liquidy still. Probably because this GPU is just mining actually now that I think about it. So what we're gonna do is get these thermal pads out. These should be two millimeters, but I'll measure them just to test and then uh, we're gonna replace them. So here, let's do this. Let's just make sure I got the right size. And to do that, I have a digital caliper. And if you need any of this stuff that you see me using, it'll all be linked in the description below. So let me just go ahead and calibrate this. And I'm gonna take off one of these thermal pads right here. And what I'm gonna do is just measure its thickness. Oop, I squished it. So there you go. About two millimeters. So I got the right ones. So uh, let's start getting these off and then doing the replacements, which I think I should have enough. It looks right. It looks right, so let's do it. So that is here, 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 here. And I want to clean this up again because it's got oil pretty much everywhere. So let me grab um, some alcohol and uh, some paper uh, tissues and we'll clean all this up. And it feels like I just did this. So here's what I use to clean this stuff. It's like science tissues. Uh, and then I also have some alcohol. And that's what I'm gonna use to clean all this stuff. I gotta get the thermal paste off. I'll put new thermal paste on. I'm gonna clean the memory chips again because there's just oil everywhere. And then I'll put this back together and we'll test it out. So let's get started. I'm gonna clean the chip off first and I'm gonna clean this side. Yeah, I guess these aren't supposed to leave any type of residue behind. The first time I did this, I definitely used paper towels. That was not good. So I got the right stuff this time. This is the same setup I used when I did my uh, 
1070s. My 1070 Ti, I clean that up. So I'll just use the same approach here. So you can fast throw it through the cleaning and then I'll come back once it's time for some more thermal pads. All right, got everything cleaned up. You can see here. And what I've realized is a couple things. These are the, I knew these were the memory chips right here. And those are the thermal pads that I've taken off that were here, 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 and here. Now these capacitors and, and other chips here, these are, I don't think these are two millimeter. They could be, but I'm not gonna replace these because the memory is the thing that's heating up. And I don't think I have to. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll be opening this GPU again for the third time. Uh, but I also don't have enough uh, thermal pads to do all of this. So I'm just gonna do these memory chips. So I've got everything cleaned and then I'm ready to install and I've cut roughly to size the thermal pads that are gonna go on the memory. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in right now. And then we'll do the thermal paste and then we'll close it up. All right, pads are in. And one thing that I got some feedback on for paste, so I always used to do paste at just like a pea size in the middle, which apparently I guess is fine for CPUs, but for GPUs you really want to spread it. So I'm gonna try that and we'll see what happens. So I guess you really wanna spread it on the die so that it can make really good contact. And if I'm doing this horrible, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Because I typically work with CPUs, not much with GPUs. All right, it looks good to me. So let's, uh, I'm gonna close this back up and then we'll test it out. There she is, how'd we do? Let's see. There we go, 96 mega hash, thank God. Oh man, looking really good. So let's take a look here. Got that memory junction temperature down to 84 degrees Celsius. That's down from 110 with replacing the stock thermal pads. And this GPU is hitting 96 mega hash at 214, 215 watts using T-Rex miner with the locked core clock set so that's what I can do MSI I got the uh, memory overclock at 950 if I go any more than that on this GPU it just really doesn't like it it'll crash it's just not a good memory overclock or this one that I got I know that there's plenty of 3080s that can get up to 100 mega hash no problem this is just not one of them that's okay super happy with those results I still can't believe that memory junction temperature difference. I mean, almost 30 degree difference, which is wild. So there we go, 96 mega hash. Replacing the stock thermal pads made the biggest difference. If you still need to do this on your 3080, that's it, just replace the stock thermal pads. I mean, I guess it's nice if you wanna add thermal pads on the back of the PCB between the back plate, but this has made the biggest difference. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord linked in the description if you want to chat. And as always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I will see you in the next video.